What's really going on? Well, I can't answer that unless you uh, make it clearer what you're actually asking, because the question's ambiguous. OK, I the teach, question... I teach philosophy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so if somebody asks a question, the first thing you ask them is, well, what do they actually mean by it? And okay. uh, that's what I would have to do. OK, great. Well, that's perfect. So you teach philosophy. Um, and what, what the, the nature of this question is, is, is that I'm sort of involved in an experiment. I see it, I see it as a kind of social experiment, if you like, right. in which I just ask that question. Yeah, yeah. yeah? And anyone responds to it in any way they wish. Now, of course, you don't. Ha you've you have already responded to the question, right? But the, of the thousands of people I've asked, many of people have come up, you know, have dealt with the ambiguity, and yet still come up with something. So, and I, I have confidence you could do that. So, I'm going to ask you again: What's really going on? <laughs> I'd have to ask again. Quite, I'd have to sort of interpret what on earth what's really going on means. Okay. It, it, it suggests that apart from what's actually going on around us, there's something kind of deeper underneath. Okay. We, uh, I see no evidence. I don't know what this deeper underneath would be. Um, so you think what? There's nothing really going on that's underneath. No, well, not, not unless I saw some evidence for it. But again, you'd have to say what sort of things going on <laughs> this underneath is. I have no idea. <laughs> OK, thank you. That's great. What were you saying? Well, I was saying your question and the way you follow it up sounds like there's some religious un agenda underneath that you're trying to elicit from me. And I don't <laughs> know whether that's true or not, but that's the way it feels. <laughs> OK. What, what, what do you mean by religious agenda? What do you mean by those words? <laughs> we should, we should, I mean, we know what we mean by religion, <laughs> and I, I was wondering whether you have some religious conviction and you're trying to ask people about their religious convictions in this kind of slightly different way. So you're asking me whether you know, I'm, I'm somehow in touch with reality, which you would describe in some religious way. Is that true? Um. Well, I mean, there, there's, prob there's probably an element of truth in, in, in there. I certainly, not, so I certainly don't have any uh, religious agenda. I don't really have any agenda with the question. You know, that you, you, you create your own agendas. For me, there, you created that agenda. I mean, so I don't have any, you know, I, I genuinely ask the question because I'm genuinely interested in whatever anyone has to say, right? And very interested in what you say. I think that there is... Um, there's probably a, a subconscious or subliminal uh, aspect that relates to what you're saying in that um, I personally, f uh, at this stage, feel that it's almost beyond any reasonable doubt that there, is, uh, there, is great mis there are great mysteries in the world and that there is metaphysical realities out there and that you know, physical reality is just one level of reality. So I, I would say that I, I do come from that kind of viewpoint, and I think there's a heck of a lot really going on underneath the you know what we can what we can sense and what we can logically work out. And your evidence of that is beyond what you feel. Because you see, the fact that somebody feels something is no relevance whatsoever to the truth. I might feel I was Napoleon, but it doesn't make me Napoleon. No matter how strong my feelings are, you feel there's something underneath. You can't define what that is, and yet you feel there's something there. You call it metaphysical, whatever that means, which I have no clue what it means. It just means it doesn't mean anything to me. But if you were to be more precise and give me some more evidence, I might, one might be able to get a handle on it. But Okay. You don't. Um, well, I haven't yet, perhaps to your satisfaction. Um, okay, so what, what I'm hearing you, you, you know, you ask. I mean, you, by the way, you did fleetingly talk about the truth, as if, as if, you know, I no even know what you mean by that. You know, I mean, do you, do you think how do you, how would you define the truth? Truth is what is, I suppose. It's a philosophical question, but I mean, the truth is just the way things are, I suppose. Or a correct description of the way things are. A correct description of the way things are. Yeah. Right, OK. So, um, well, uh, the, the, so you're, you're asking me for evidence 
that there, are, there is a metaphysical reality, in other words, there is a life beyond the physical. Un underneath. Underneath, yeah, okay. Um, okay, let me, let me have a little think about that. Go ahead. It's all right. Having a philosophy lesson. Well, I was going to say, uh, this is something you enjoy. Um, you see, your the way you see the world, I suspect, is quite radically different from the way I see the world. Um, and that doesn't make you right or wrong or me right or wrong. It's just different ways of seeing the world. So, you know, my... Well, you know, for me, I only need to look outside at a flower um, or even at you as a human being. To me, it's like obvious that there's something, there's something more that you're, you're not just, you're not just, um, you're not just some flesh that happens to be able to do a few things. Yeah. To me, it's obvious. That there's something. The right. Obvious. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. No, that, so to me, that's miraculous. Uh, in the word, I, I use that word in the way I use it. But if you are looking for evidence, there is the, the most. I mean, there is. So, for example, I I, I am very keen on a, a modern day metaphysics and physics um, professor, or whatever. I don't know what you call him. Teacher. Teacher a teacher of physics and metaphysics who has been experimenting for 40 years with consciousness, doing things like, you know, um, scientifically testing um, remote viewing, scientifically testing remote healing, healing people using power of the mind, scientifically testing remote communication. So he would be put in a room, um, uh, someone else would be in another room somewhere and they'd be locked up and they wouldn't be able to hear each other and they'd have a conversation, um, you know, through meditation. They'd go into a conversation they'd, and they'd record it and you'd hear they were having a conversation even though they couldn't hear each other. And there are thousands of experiments. There are, there are departments in top universities that experiment with these things and there, is, there, and there is so much evidence that it is, you know, it's beyond any reasonable doubt. Well, That's it, it isn't beyond any reasonable doubt, because if it was, then all the scientists in the world would be agreeing with you. No, it's not. It's because, you're, you're, because your belief system is, I would say, and, 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 and this is where I kind of stop in the conversation, because I don't, I don't find confrontational conversations helpful, but my, my, my take is that your ideology is, a, is as much um, a religion as uh, any of the main religions and, no, and for you to be uh, hold on a second and for you to be for you to be open to this is too catastrophic it's, it's, it's as catastrophic for you to be open to the possibility of there being a metaphysical reality as it is for a christian to to realize that jesus is just you know didn't really come to save him now let me answer you um i agree we have different views um, it would not be catastrophic for me to change my views. I'd be ha happy to become, for example, a Christian. It would be very nice to believe there was a God that loved everybody, so I would have no problems about believing that. In fact, I'd like to believe that. My difference from you is that I will only believe something if there's evidence for it. Um, now, you... Yeah, but you, but what you... Hold on, you haven't let yeah. me finish. You have quoted some evidence about some professor somewhere or other who allegedly, according to you, has performed certain experiments. Yeah. Now, I'm not a professor, I'm not an expert in these things. I go by what the experts tell me. Oh. If, if it was as you said... Who are the experts? It, in a particular field, the experts are the people, the scientists, who are investigating that. Now, it, if, if, in the, if next week I pick up a psychology textbook and it says in there all about remote viewing and all the psychologists who've, who have investigated it agree, then I shall change my opinions quickly. But I won't change them on the basis of one professor who I've never heard of who you quote that's not enough evidence for me. I go on the evidence. That's, my, that's the difference between you and me. Um, and that's not, a, as it were, a religious view or, it just, or even a metaphysical view. It's just a way of approaching things. I will believe things if there's evidence for them. End of. Right. What, what is evidence? 
What, what is evidence? What does that evidence mean? Evidence is reason, facts, information that backs up a particular point of view and points to that point of view being true. Right. What about the system that, that creates the journals that create the evidence? Do you, do you not think that people are looking, some people are looking for, some, for evidence, especially if they are working in the system? Do you not think that there might be a problem with that? Uh, you have to explain that a bit more. Well, the, you know, there's a system that creates uh, psychology. To, th there's a system in which, you know, the journals are I mean, created. Science, I think, yes, yes. Yeah. So, you know, and that does, don't you think that affects what evidence is available? To some extent it does, but the whole point of science is that the good scientist, the ideal scientist, I know there aren't any, but they all aim for this, is a person who tries to refute their particular beliefs. What you're supposed to do as a scientist, if you have right. a view, is Fantastic. you try and look for the evidence against it. Well, then you should be look for, looking for the evidence against your current viewpoint well, of, that, of that, atheism. That, that's, what, that's why I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> that. Fair enough. Okay, so 8% of allopathic... Uh, drugs are clinically proven, well, right? Be... Including, including, by the way, the overwhelming majority of, of vaccinations which have not been tested in double-blind trials. You have got an agenda here, haven't you? Where are you coming well, from? Well, no. no uh, on, what, what organisation do you belong to? Be honest about it. <laughs> Honestly, I, you, 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 I'll give you my YouTube channel, right? You're a new age person. I'll give you my YouTube channel, right? Oh, I'm a new age person. You, you really like... I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I'll give you away one thing, yes? I, I would... If I have to call myself anything, I would describe myself as post-labelist. What? Post-labelist. Never heard of it. What is it? That's uh, someone who... Beyond the idea of labels. I don't fit into any label. Oh, actually, okay. But you so I'm not a member of any organisation. I'm not. I, I don't. You know, I'm not a New Ager. I'm not a Christian. I'm not a this. I'm not a that. I'm just me. Yes, you. That's all. So I'm just me too, as well. Fantastic. <laughs> it's lovely to meet you. <laughs> Can I have my dinner now? Yes. <laughs>